Hi everyone, I did promise that I was going to do a video showing you a project that I designed for my students during COVID-19. Um, this project should last um, elementary school kids, let's say a week or two, depending on how many hours is spent on it a day or how long it takes them to complete a task. Um, what I like about this project is that I related it to um, um, what's it called? I related to a subject that we were doing before COVID-19 occurred. So it was easy for me to complete this as, let's say, a round off of everything that we learned. And they have gone and started on it and they really enjoy it. So I really want to share with you the project that I created. So the first page is for the First page is actually this, a message that I wrote to my kids and so and so, and then giving them updates, not updates, I guess giving them a reminder of what we covered so they're able to use that information into their project. So basically what this project is, is design your own village settlement. So the first thing I have is a name, class, date, and then design your own village settlement. And I found this picture online, which I find was very relatable to the project. <laughs> Next thing is the first, so how I divide this project is by days. So each day they have to complete a task. So first thing is congratulations, you have found land to build on. In the next few days, you'll work really hard to bring your ideas about your land into reality. So the first thing they have to do is they found land. They found land, sorry. <laughs> they found land. And I wrote, wow, you have just found land. Now. Think about the atmosphere of your land. If someone were to walk into your land, how would it feel like? What are some items the land came with? Example of things to consider writing are the following. So the first page is, yay, you found land. Here you go. Now, what's in your land? How does it feel like? When I, if someone were to walk into your land, what is the first thing they'll notice? Or how would they feel? How would, it, how would their mood change into? So that's the first thing they have to do. And the guideline, it says two pages in detail. I'm always encouraging my children to write more than, um, than their, um, I guess, right? I'm just trying to push them to write more. So I'm always trying to give them guidelines in case they might write one page. I'm like, actually, you write two. So this is their two page. So I've made lines for them to write on. Then day two is where is your land located in the world? So by the way, I forgot to mention, which I should have mentioned in the beginning, is that this is related to history and geography, this project. So with this part, what they have to do is do some research online where they would ideally want their land to be located in the world. It could be anywhere in the world. It could be in Jamaica, it could be in Asia, it could be anywhere in the world. So what they have to do for this is draw the map of that country. So for example, if their, their land was in, let's say, Jamaica, like I said before, they'll have to draw and outline the map of Jamaica. There's no space of that on this PDF that I created, but I did encourage them to use um an a4 blank sheet just to do that section or that part and then they also have to draw a flag for their land so this one they had an opportunity to let's say if they did jamaica to draw the jamaica jamaican flag or they can create their own flag for their country or their land that they found next explain why you have chosen this particular location for your land slash village to be settled in so if you picked let's say jamaica i keep using jamaica let's go with it um let's say for example they picked jamaica why jamaica why did you pick up um a country that's in the caribbean is it because it's hot and it doesn't snow there um is it because of the dialect they speak it's interesting to you why did you choose jamaica not let's say canada so they have to write half a page for this and their pictures can be drawn on a blank paper like i said which is a4 ideally so yeah that's the half the page next is day three i have created for them is building time so basically for this section is now that you examined your area of your land it's time to build and make it into a village so in the beginning they have to picture that their land is just blank it may have river it may have wood or forests but at this point now they're trying to make their land into a home so into a village so i gave them examples of things that they can create 
which is building a log house using wood, building a farmland, building a boat. But I did encourage them during this time for this section is that remember that it's an early settler's time. That means that I'm not expecting them to be like, hey, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna build a big flat screen TV and we're gonna watch movies in the park. No, it's an early settler's time. So I wanted them to keep that identity intact. And then they had to do some research online for ideas because I only gave them three. So I, want, I wanted to encourage them to do some research. And I also provided them with a PDF information booklet as well to um, give more information on that, which I'm, I, I'm not sharing now because I'm sharing this screen. Um, so this is more lines I wanted them to write on to give them a guideline of how much I wanted them to write. Um, next is create your own alphabets. Now that you have your land, now that you have your village and it is intact to the way you want it to be, now they are having to create their language, I mean their letters for language. So basically what I did was um, we, over, we went over these alphabets in class so they're familiar with this early settlers alphabets but then after that in the table that I drew below is this says it has a letter section right here so a and then letter section b g l q v basically what they have to do is the letter here is a right next to the a which is right in this column here don't have to draw their own letter of whatever they would like so once they filled up for each one, let's say, for example, there's a W here, this is how you draw, um, write a W in English, and then from here, they'll have to draw their own type of W for their land. Once they are done everything from A to Z, they can use those letters to create words or, yeah, words, to create words that are relevant to their land. And I was, I was also encouraging them that once they have this done, they can use these letters into words and create signs for their, um, their village. Next is draw a map of your village. So they have the idea of their village. They have the idea of how it feels like, what is in there. Now I'm encouraging them with this floor plan right here in this box here to draw their village. Um, I encourage them, this is, so this is day, so they, I also told them to look back at day three. Day three, I'm gonna go quickly. It was basically building time. So everything they built. So everything that they said they built, um, which is let's say a log house, a farmland, a boat, everything that they said that they have built with all their strength should be seen on this page and I told them to make sure to make it colorful and nice. I don't like lazy stuff so I really wanted them to make it beautiful and I had to stress make it colorful with a smiley face. <laughs> Next is day five. So day five was my last day. Oops sorry. So it's day five. Did I skip? Day four? No I didn't. Okay so day five and then sorry day six I should say. Day six is all about now taking everything that they have created in this booklet into something physical and tangible. So now they're actually creating their village by using a shoe box or whatever box they have available at home. I did encourage them during this time to just use things at home. It's COVID-19. I don't want any of my kids going out just because Miss Gifty said that we're doing a project. I want to get paint. No, I encourage them to use things in their home. Um, I encourage them to use things at their home and just be creative with the things that they already have. So, so this is some of the examples that I provided for them so that they can um, get ideas of how to make it creative. And so like, for example, this is a very simple one, right? Whereas this was a bit more complicated and this one has toys. So I made it a bit diverse for them so they can have many ideas of what they can do. I also, what I what I was going to also add to this project, but I didn't do it because I was like, oh, it might be too much. And I wanted them to enjoy their Easter break because this was, I sent this work out during Easter. It was once they were done all of this to day six, their day seven or day eight, depending on how long it takes them to complete this, was to basically do a handout or a booklet or a, a pamphlet 
of their village. So trying to advertise the village for people to come and live there has um, citizens. So that was, that's an extension that you can do if this is something interesting to you um, that you want to do with your kids at school. So this is one project I really want to share with you all. Um, it's a really good project. Um, I used it because I just finished doing geography and history before COVID-19. So I thought it was a really nice way to sum up everything that we did if in case I don't see my students again. But um, they're really enjoying it. It gets them to be creative. It also gets them to research and write, which is super important during this time. And yeah, so if you have any questions about this project or you really like it, you want me to send it to you, I would be more than happy to send it to you. Just let me know, email me or message me on Instagram. I'd be more than happy to send it to you and share that with you. So I hope that was helpful. And this is the project that I created and my kids really like it. So this is something I would say, if you are sending your students um, work every day during this time for COVID-19, um, this is one way for you to get a little bit of a break so that they can finish this within, let's say, a week or so, and they can go back to sending them daily work. Or it might be something that you might be watching this video after COVID-19 and you really like it. Use it. So yeah, take care. Bye.